What up, guys? Or lack of guys? Oh my god! You know, I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna wait for my coworkers to come back. Hello, no goodbyes, Emily, and yes, it has been freaking forever since I heard those words. We are playing some Stanley Parable today. And no, you're not in 2015, believe it or not. The new Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe, just came out, and I figured I should play some on stream because I wanted to have some fun with it. And uh, streaming is like all I do nowadays. But it was such a nostalgia trip that I decided that I wanted to put it on YouTube as well, because as you may or may not know, I did Stanley Parable, the first version of it, back in 2015, and I did almost all the endings, if not all of them. Can't really remember. It was one of my my favorite series, one of a lot of people's favorite series, so I thought, why not bring it back to the channel as the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. So, I'm not gonna talk too much, let's just get into it. Let's go, let's go, Stanley, 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 oh my god, it brings me back. You're playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Begin the game, I'm ready! This okay. is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley, he's back! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee Yay. number 427's job Oh my gosh. Sick. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. I Tell remember this so vividly. Push, how long to push them and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although it's rough, buddy, that's rough. Soul ending, Stanley relished every month that the orders came. He loved it. As though he had been made exactly for this job, Stanley mm. was happy. Exactly for the job, you say. <laughs> and then one day, something very <laughs> peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Mm. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. I actually don't remember no much of this. Up to give him I'm instructions. Vague recollections are coming back. Even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Mm. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. I mean, could he ever but move? As he came to his wits and regained his senses. <laughs> Did he ever move? He got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh. Here's where I come in, but I'm pretty sure there is like an ending where you just don't leave. And the guy's like, Stanley stepped out of his office. And you just keep doing that and not moving. And he's like, Stanley stepped out. Uh, but no, I will I will look around. I will I will see what there's to see. Oh my gosh, Stanley, you're so fast. Oh, so speed. Oh my boy. You've gotten so quick in your old age. <laughs> God, he's fast. Why why am I so fast? Whoa! <laughs> I guess we should head out. What's out here for me? Hello? Hello? All of his co-workers were gone. <gasps> what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Guys, what the fuck happened here? Where's the maintenance crew? Get a fix on this. What's going on? What's going on, eh? <laughs> Stanley just has like this ridiculous accent, you know? Just like, what the fuck, guys? What's happening here? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his <laughs> that fucking mug. <sighs> yeah, but like, what if my coworker turned into a plant? I'm gonna sit here with this plant. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. I cannot crouch with this plant. Would love to, can't. <laughs> Secrets, what were you doing before everything went to crap? Installing something, why did the install stop? Ooh, that's spooky. What's going on, guys? <gasps> another plant coworker, oh thank God you're here. I thought they'd all gone, me and my, oh there's another one. It's fine, everybody just turned into plants. Everybody's just plants now. Why did everyone leave in such a hurry? Because they were too scared of becoming plants. It's the, the great, plant conspiracy. What's going on, guys? <gasps> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let me <clears throat> just go back. Let me let me uh, reference my own video here for a moment. When Emily reached the room with the two sets of doors. When Emily came to the same set of two open doors. She said fuck it and went to the door on the right. She said fuck it and went to the door on the right. I think. Did he say left or right? I'm going to the right. <laughs> this was not the correct way hey. to meet And Stanley knew <laughs> Nailed well. it. Perhaps Nailed he wanted to it. stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire I it. I do want to. I want a snack. I want to have a little, little, a little peckish. You want a little snack? <gasps> a plant! Oh, thank God, my coworkers. It's truly a room worth admiring. Mm, it really yes. been worth mm, the detour yes. after all. It really just was. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is gorgeous. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in.
Feels good. Feels good. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Give me a drink. The room is so <laughs> I want a drink. Captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, mm, they're plants. You sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Mm, they're plants. Really it's fine. Worth it. Yeah, no, I'm not too worried. Not too worried. I would rather my coworkers be plants so I don't have to talk to them. At this I have point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Fucking rude. Excuse me. A plant outside of Office 420? Oh Stan my god! <laughs> dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's move on. Hello, hello. But at last, he had enough of the amazing room. It was truly he took incredible. The first open door on his left to get back to business. Mm. Mm? No. No, I like the look of this one better. I like the look of this Stanley one. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm short. Why am I so short? Stanley's got the speed, but my God, he's a short little man. <laughs> he's a speedy boy, though. He's, that's how he gets so fast. Close to the ground. He's close to the ground. So he goes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he really gains, he gains more traction that way. Do not jump from cargo lift while it's in motion. We'll cause death. Listen, that sounds like a quitter's talk. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> Might have fought. I fell a little bit. I just felt. I just fell. Stanley was okay, so okay, okay. Following directions. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Years ago. Five thousand dollars for death. That's. Not enough to stop me. I'm kidding. I'm not gonna, do I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah, let's go this way. Look, hey. Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten Ooh. off on the wrong foot here. I'm not Fun. sure. Me. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust ooh, in ooh, someone ooh, else can ooh. be difficult, but the ooh. fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, oh okay. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh my god, it's Stop me. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm neglecting myself. I'm asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? It's me. I need a self-care day. Stand. That's all. That's all. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh my god, it's referring to MS Arcade. Oh my god, I'm such a big fan of hers. <laughs> I will let MS Arcade back in my life. You're right. I should. I should. She's been waiting for years. Years she's been waiting to come back. God damn it. Oh, That's this. I remember family. this. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. I've if been you fucking trying. She won't, take, she won't another, answer my calls. Then pick up the phone. The way he says it. Pick up the phone. For the love of God, Stanley. Stanley, pick up the damn phone. It's my jam. I'm just enjoying it. Doesn't really have a beat, but yeah, a little dance, a little dance for it. I I can't pick up the phone. Like, there's no prompt for me to pick up the phone. But I could trip on this wire and pull it out of the wall. Ah, oops! As Stanley picked up the phone. A white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance but with hope. I hope did, that's not what happened. One... Wait. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I tripped and fell. Stanley. Did you just unplug the phone? Oh, uh, my, no, my feet are oh, so clumsy. Choice. How did you do that? I don't know, I touched you it. actually chose it correctly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Woo. Let me double check. I'm gonna pick up the phone now. No, Can't. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in. Gross, that sounds boring. White, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Oh, I broke it. How is that even possible? No, 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 man. These I'm speed. <laughs> Look at me go. <laughs> How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. I can't believe <laughs> I was so mistaken. 
This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. I mean, yeah, I threw myself off of a high place. <laughs> situation. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can no. educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. No. Please observe this helpful oh, okay. instructional video. <clears throat> I'm ready. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. Who the fuck's named Rupert? He can invent nowadays? a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to a make cricket? life better for all Oh people. god, that poor cricket! Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Forget how Remember to read! that unlike here, the real Let's world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform <laughs> to rational logic. No, if reading! you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Backhand! Allow the person to finish their thought, then Wait, provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness. My is goodness. It is it 4 30 already? A back sack I'm crack. supposed to be having a back sack crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision making process. Thank you. Most yes. medical professionals what is that been doing? make eight choices Robert. per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? Ooh. And finally, no choices. if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. Especially because I don't know how to read anymore. Subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ready. Ah. Welcome back. Thank you. You may have yeah. noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly it's not looking great, yeah. good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay. Wow. Things are not so... Okay. Can I pick up the phone now? Hello? Is this the crusty crap? All right. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, we're doing this again. Do I get to throw myself off again? Sweet, let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, what? <sighs> Listen, I should be able to have the choice to yeet myself off of a high place. How dare you take this away from me? How dare you? This is like a free will. I'm revolting. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Now your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. But I want it to again. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. I already that did. Story <laughs> no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. This is a president. <laughs> it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. God damn it! God damn it! Let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me fling myself off of a high place. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, the door has opened. Hello, you are new. Excuse you. <laughs> Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop it. <laughs> stop the radio. All right. All right. All right. Hey, what's going on here? Literally nothing. Okay. Why am I so short? I can put my eyeballs in this fucking <laughs> file cabinet. Hey, hey. Anybody? Any more plants? Where are my plant co-workers at? What's up, guys? Hey, Steve! Nice to see you again. You'll keep the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once um, again, and you'll be home free in the real world. But listen, my guy, there's got to be another way. Why is that so bright? There's got to be another way. My guy. Remember, all you need to do is be hey, exactly plant. as Stanley would. That okay. means choosing right. responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay, okay, I got this, I got this. I'm ready, sure I'm ready. I'm ready. Right. my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. As a person who is definitely Stanley, I'm going to do the Stanley thing. The thing that Stanley would do. I am, in fact, going to take... The door on the right. Yes, that's correct. I, Stanley, am taking the door on the right because that's what Stanley no. would do. Why Whoa! Do you do <laughs> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Steve? 
Steve! Steve! <laughs> They've taken you, my boy! My boy Steve! No, my coworker boy. Oh god, they took him. They took him away. He's he's trapped in the paradox. It's okay, Ben's still here, so it's fine. We love you, Ben. Don't don't no, don't let anything happen to you. Remarkable performance of Stanley. Thank you. I really feel like I embodied him. Sad day. Sad day for Steve. I'll tell- I'll let your family know, Steve. I'll let them know if I ever get out of this place. <laughs> All right, what's in store for Stanley? What's in store? <gasps> Another coworker! Oh, thank God. Thank God. That's Judith. Judith is- you're doing a great job, Judith! Keep up the good work. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, nothing exists beyond the office. We are just beings floating in the void. It is what it is. Oh, oh. It's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work! Did Why? I do that? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? Yep. To know that my story yeah. is incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy oh. all of my work? Oh. I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? <gasps> oh my god, everybody's here! No, all my friends! Hey! Oh my god. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on! Oh no, oh no, I'm going this way. Ah! Hey, hey now, hey, I was with my friends. We were having a good time. Oh no, oh god. It's all ruined. Oh, I'm, I'm here. Hey. I'm still here. Here in this pile Friend. of rubbish. With you. Yes. You, yes. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. <laughs> my time game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. Oh, I can't go anywhere. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to yeah. see. Yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? This is exactly what he Stanley would do. He knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? I am but there's Stanley. There's a world outside of you. You're a child. <sighs> oh. Excuse oh, me. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole yeah. underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. Fun. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Oh. I tried so hard to make... Is ...behave exactly as Stanley would. <laughs> that means choosing responsibility <laughs> and always putting the story first. Yeah. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When mm -hmm. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Will I actually do it this time? Stay tuned! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you want me to take the right door? I already did that path, though. I already did that. Should I go again? I feel like if I go again, it's not going to be anything new. I try it, though. We'll see what happens. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Oh! Is behave exactly as <laughs> Let me do the thing! How dare you! I am Stanley! Lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. See, here's the thing, right? If you didn't want me to have free will, you shouldn't have given it to me. I'm going this way. Going this way? No! Why did you do that? Going this way! Quickly! Hurry I don't know how many times I can do this. <laughs> I feel like eventually it will stop me. Should I do it one more time just for fun? Just a little fun. It's just a little joke, a little meme. It's a little meme. Haha, -ha, a little meme. No! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly! Hurry <laughs> Okay. It's for the bit. It's for it's the bit. Exactly All right, we'll go to the left. Right. It's not me, it's Stanley. I'm being Stanley right now. I would never do anything like that. Okay, I guess I will accept my fate. I mean, I didn't want it, but okay. Um, yeah, Judith. Judith, that's right. Judith, you're doing great. Doing great, Judith. <laughs> Couldn't think of a word here. Okay, all right, all right. It looks like it's supposed to... Yeah, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a way Just not getting me, fired. Stanley decided Talk to less. Talk less. <laughs> Don't get fired! An answer there. Hey, whoa, 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 I was reading that. Alright, what are we doing? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Narrator, what's going on? Hmm? 
<gasps> a friend. Hello, friend. Nice to see you again. Oh my god, it's been so long. How are the kids? How's the wife? Goodbye. Was that all? That was all. Okay. <gasps> Why won't you let me in the broom closet? I happen to know this is an ending, good sir. Let me in the broom closet. It's fine. I'll come back for it. Don't worry. Coming to a staircase. No. Walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> Ugh, fine. All right. All right. What's up here? Hmm. 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 Damn it. <laughs> I'm just imagining Stanley going to every door and being like. <laughs> Is this the room with the piano? Is this the room with the piano? I know there's a piano in Stanley Parable. I think there's... Is there a piano in Stanley Parable? Pretty sure there's a piano in Stanley Parable. Let me play the piano. I'm touching all of the things. Oh, oh, I gotta, hold on. I gotta answer the phone. Oh, hello? Yes, Mr. Mr. Schmidorf. We'll see you now. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm on the chair. I'm on the chair. Wow, I'm tall now. Oh my God, is this what being normal height feels like? It's another coworker. Are you the, this must be the receptionist. Of course, of course. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? Uh, Susie, Susie. Yes, yeah, nice to see you again. It's been a long time. How come all my coworkers look identical? Just, just curious. You guys all go to the same salon or what? Oh, big boss man? Big boss man. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. Of course, of course, of course, yes. probability, he knew the passcode. Oh, he had seen yeah. it on his boss's computer just last week. My you fucking Night sneak, shark, dude. One, one, five. Little sneaky boy. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Night shark, one, one, five. There was only one way to find out. Night shark, one, one, five. Hello. Stanley never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then <gasps> spoke the code. Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. I, tr I tried, man. I tried. Right there on the wall. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me mix it up. Let me mix it up. Dayfish 234. <laughs> you didn't miss it, did you? Please speak didn't work. the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we Spencer. can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Okay, fine. I'm You're trying. Do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. <laughs> I I'm can't asking speak. for this I one single speak. thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the I hell did. you wanted over there. I why did. did you come this way? Please, say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You. Ah, so me. Oh, no. <laughs> Stanley, don't do it. Go to the right, for the love of God. Wee. Oh, oh, look at, I'm a handsome boy. Look at Stanley. <gasps> the end? No. That's not the end. Imagine if that was the entire game. That's not the end. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You can't be wrong here. We can work together. Yeah, okay. That's not what you told me. Step forward, please. Choose. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. Why you need it so bad? Hmm? So, you hear me? He sounds so sad. Wait for you to decide what Stanley, to say something. Take as much time as you need. Stanley. Look at this handsome boy, though. Oh God. <laughs> and my coworker, Ben. The true ending. I got the true ending. I did. It's so short with the just the true ending. The end is never the end. It's never the end. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for that abrupt ending, but I um, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to subscribe, maybe? No, it's down there. When has it ever been up there? Oh my god, like 2005, I think, was the last time this subscribe button was up there. Uh, subscribe down here, perhaps? I will be posting more of the Stanley Parable very, very soon. I love you. Did that make you want to subscribe? <laughs> if you haven't followed me yet, follow me on Twitch at msrk 4 These actual streams in real life. Oh my god, streams in real life. Whoa. And uh, I have a clips channel also, which I'm going to be very annoying about. So if you haven't followed my clips channel yet, maybe consider it. All those things are probably popping up around me. So, do something. <laughs>